Hey guys, are you interested in starting your new career selling life insurance? I'm going to tell you the steps that it takes to become a life insurance agent and then to actually start the selling process. So my name is Kyle Studer and I actually run an independent life insurance agency where we focus on helping the senior market with final expense, Medicare, and annuities. For more on my agency, go to kylestuder.com, scroll to the bottom. I'd be happy to help you further. Follow me on Instagram at kylestuderfe and on Facebook at kylestuder. So let me take you through the steps. Uh, oftentimes people want to get into the life insurance industry because they want to make more money, have more control of their schedule, more flexibility, right? They want a better lifestyle. Um, even, you know, maybe not necessarily even more money in some cases. Maybe you make 50000 a year and you work five days a week and you'd love to be able to do that in two days. Um, maybe you make $100,000 a year and you work like a dog and you work five, six days a week. It's stressful. You're just tired of it and you'd love to scale that down to three or four days a week. Very, very possible. So let me tell you something though. The upside in this business, to get the upside, you got to go uphill. It takes a lot of work. You have to master your craft. You have to take this serious in order to get serious results. And I would say... That is serious results to make the same amount of money you're making now in half the time. So those are serious results. Um, let me take you through the process here. So the very first step when becoming a life insurance agent or you want to you know, get into this career, you have to have an insurance license. So the very first thing that we take our agents through is we enroll them into a pre-licensing course. Now going through my agency, we have a discounted option. So you pay $49 for either of the license coach options. Well, I'm sorry, license coach is one of them. Excel is the other. They're both $49. Now, if you go out there on your own uh, and just sign up, sometimes you're paying $200 for the online course. So the very first step is to enroll yourself into an online course. Through my agency, that costs $49, regardless of the state that you live in. In between that and taking the state exam, the pre-licensing course is material that's supposed to prepare you to take the state exam. In between those two things, while you're studying and going through your pre-licensing, you want to go down to the local sheriff station or to a local place where you can get your fingerprint background check. Now, specifically for life insurance, you need what's called an FBI, BCI, fingerprint background check. Oftentimes, if you go into the sheriff's station and say, I need a background check to get an insurance license, they're usually these places that do background checks frequently. They're generally familiar with what kind of background check you need. But it's called FBI BCI. I think uh, when I did mine, I went to a sheriff's station in Lancaster, Ohio. If my memory serves me correctly, I think I paid like $67 for that. So I always tell folks it's generally 50 to 100 bucks for the background check. Depends on where you live, of course. And when I did mine, this was you know, back in 2013. So prices could have changed a little bit. From there, the third and final step to actually getting the license is taking that state exam. And you need a 70% to pass. All the states that I know of, you just need a 70%. So you don't need to get a 97%. You don't need to be, you know, memorize every single answer. You don't have to be perfect. You just need to get a 70%. That gets you your gold sticker, your gold badge. You're then deputized. You're official. You're able to actually go represent life insurance companies. And that leads us to our next step, which is finding an agency to partner with. And I'll talk a little bit about that. But the main purpose was just to kind of give you a rundown. So it's kind of a three-step process to review pre-licensing online. You can also go to a, a place, a physical location to do pre-licensing. Generally, I would assume that costs more. Uh, a place here in Ohio is called Honduras, or I'm sorry, Hondros, Hondros College. You can go, and I, I think it's a little bit more money to go to a physical class, but you can knock it out in a week. The online course gives you a little bit more flexibility, but generally it takes people a little bit longer to get through. Um, then you do a background check, FBI, BCI, background check, state exam, you need to take, get a 70%. I never took the real estate exam, 
but a lot of folks have told me that the real estate exam is harder than the insurance exam. I don't know. Uh, the insurance insurance exam is not like a walk in the park. It's not fun. It's uh, boring. It's dull. It's dry, right? And I'll tell you this: a lot of it, a lot of like most schooling, a lot of it that you learn, have to memorize in order to pass the test. It's not uh, very applicable. Of course, like ethics and how to treat a client, yes, those are certainly eth uh, applicable, but there's a lot of things that the test talks about that you really don't run into uh, in my experience. And I've been doing the, the insurance business for, this month will be nine years. So not my first rodeo, and I just think that there's not there's a lot of stuff you're going to study that's not going to be applicable. Once you're licensed, it's more about honing your people skills, uh, learning to make people feel comfortable, learning to communicate with people, learning to manage expectations, guide them through a process. Finding an agency is so, so important. Um, my number one thing, number one piece of advice for you in regards to finding an agency, I, I often say trust your gut. What I mean is I want you to ask yourself when you're talking to a potential agency owner or you're looking to partner with an agency, ask yourself, does this feel right? Does this feel right? There are so many recruiters. There are so many big organizations that do massive, massive recruiting, and they're bringing people in like by the hundreds, like every month. So you got to ask yourself, like, is that what I want to do? You know, it's kind of like this uh, big university versus small university. Like, I run more of a more of a mom and pop type feel, uh, life insurance agency, more like a, bo a boutique, um, more of like a specialized knowledge where it's a little bit more hands-on. I'm more accessible. Uh, you know, that would be like more like a community college. You get more hands-on experience. You get the training. You're able to talk face-to-face. -face, you're able to talk on the phone more frequently, get a little bit more guidance. You know, if, if there's 20 students in the class, each student can get a little bit more time. But if you go to say like Ohio State, and there's a thousand people in one of your classes, you know, you kind of got to figure it out. You better just look at the syllabus, reference the system, and, and follow it as close as you can, and hopefully the professor can find some time for you. So it's kind of a, an analogy for you. So when you're choosing your agency, ask yourself, does this feel right? The person that's going to be mentoring you, working with you, you want to feel good about them. You want to ask them about some of their production. You want to be, or at least see that, See like their training. Look at some of their training. See if they're capable of training. Like look at the information. And is there stuff you can plug into? Are there resources in place? Um, are they going to be accessible? If you're in in a home on an appointment and you need help, can you call them? Or are they so busy like they're not going to answer their phone? They just have too many agents. Can't take phone calls. Can't text you back that quickly. These are things you want to account for. Um, Another thing I'll touch on here, uh, there's a lot of uh, debate and, you know, in, in the real world, we all kind of have an idea of what minimum wage is. For example, if you're, you know, an executive assistant, perhaps your going rate's $25, $30 an hour. But if you were completely ignorant to the niche of executive assistants, if you had no idea what they would, what they should be making... Perhaps I could bring you on for four dollars an hour below minimum wage, right? We can't do that because everybody knows. Most ninety-nine percent of folks know what minimum wage is. Well, in the insurance business, ninety-nine percent of folks do not know. There is no minimum wage, so you can jump into an agency where you're making twenty-five percent commissions on things on a product that you sell. It means that the client is paying a thousand dollars a month and you prospect you found that client you bought that lead you sold that policy you get 25 percent so you're gonna make 250 dollars on a thousand dollar case whereas we start agents at the Kyle Studer group we start them at a hundred percent so you write a thousand dollar case your commission is a thousand dollars big big difference so I would look for an agency that's got competitive commissions, 
on a first year commission for final expense or term, that's very, very competitive. Very competitive. You don't want to go this route where you're 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent. I mean, a lot of agencies, some of these big organizations that bring people in by the numbers, they start you at 60, 70, 80 percent. And then you max out sometimes 80, 90. You max out at 100 percent. Whereas with us, we're more of an independent agency. We're focused on the producer. We want you to be able to do well and you can move up. You start at 100 percent. So lots of things to take into account. If you also want to watch a more in-depth um, version on choosing an agency, watch on YouTube Kyle Studer, the, uh, the Ten Commandments to Choosing an IMO. IMO stands for Independent Marketing Organization. Some people will call themselves an N, like Nancy, NMO, National Marketing Organization, FMO, uh, different terms, they kind of all mean the same deal in regards to how it concerns you. So watch the, the Ten Commandments to Choosing a Life Insurance IMO. That'll help you prepare. Also, if you watch Seven Ways for an Agent to Improve Their Insurance Career, that also goes through some of that information and shares it with you. So guys, if you want to know more about my agency, kylestuder.com. Check out more on me. Scroll to the bottom if you'd like to get in touch. Follow me on Instagram at Kyle Studer FE and on Facebook at Kyle Studer. Have a great day.